Good afternoon, fellow investors. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about short squeezes in general, and in particular, it was a discussion about Bed Bath & Beyond that kind of triggered me to want to film this today. Um, I, I see this comment by this person, going all in tomorrow, 5,000 shares. Okay, so that hurts, okay? Bed Bath & Beyond is basically a penny stock at this point, about 125 million market cap, not, down 95% over the last five years, absolutely failing financially as I'll go over shortly. Now, that, that comment bothers me on a couple of different levels, okay? One is just the fact that if they put that money into this, the only way it works out uh, is if this supposed squeeze were to happen, okay? The other is if, if 5,000 is all in, they can't afford to make that kind of gamble in the first place, all right? So it, I'm very, I'm very um, concerned for the people that may get burned if uh, this doesn't play out the way they want it to, which, um, you know, one issue with it is Bed Bath & Beyond is doing an equity offering, which means they're issuing shares, okay? Basically, they're in a financial bind, all right? And that's how they're going to try to float the boat, is just by selling shares on the open market. They don't have a whole lot of other options, really, because um, when you look at their balance sheet, they're $798 billion in the hole. Um, so their liabilities outweigh their assets by almost $800 million. Um, I hope I said million and not billion. Um, now, they also keep losing more money as time goes on each and every quarter. So in um, the quarter, comparable quarter here on this um, statement, back in 2021, they had lost uh, about $270 million. And in the three months, same three months in 2022, they lost $393 million. Does this seem like a business that's on the road to recovery? Or does it seem like one that's circling the drain and, you know, getting ready to explode like the planet Namek after Frieza blasted out the core? Now, is it going to take five minutes, five months, five years? I don't know. But that seems to be the direction that it's headed, financially speaking. So... I just, you know, want to say, like, consider this if you're planning on, you know, trying to cash in on the on the the next big, you know, meme stock short squeeze thing. Don't like if you're if you're planning on doing it. I mean, it is essentially a lottery ticket that you're buying, not a piece of, you know, a real solid good business that's going to give you a return if the short squeeze situation doesn't happen okay so i've got a lot of um you know stock in different companies that are you know they're red on their share price uh, pretty substantially from you know when i purchased them but the difference is those companies you know they have you know they have cash flows coming in they've you know got a track record of generating return for shareholders in the form of profits and um, they've got you know real assets on their balance sheets and and things along those lines this is just a company that's just trying to keep its head barely above water to get through the next quarter and they keep doing it quarter after quarter after quarter and I just don't think it's sustainable in the long run, okay? And that's just my opinion, but 
you know, I can't tell adult people what to do with their money, but to me, that seems like just chasing, chasing, um, you know, a, a, a one-time, you know, lottery ticket, big payout, and um, that's not where I would put my money or, you know, stake my future, all right? So that's it. Take it easy, and peace.